Hello, today we're going to do something a little bit different and walk through one of our websites and how you might use it to help monitor your arthritis. So our website's name, it's RoomDAS, just like you see on the top of the screen there, RoomDAS.com. Uh, DAS stands for Disease Activity Score, and this website uh, is something that rheumatologists can use, or it's, they use tools similar to this, to help calculate uh, validated scoring systems for inflammatory arthritis, like rheumatoid arthritis most commonly, but psoriatic arthritis and most types of arthritis that affects the joints throughout your body. And then you can see that there's multiple, multiple components to this. And we'll just walk through that and, and how this can work and then how you might be able to do this for yourself at home to monitor how your arthritis is doing. So you can see right over here that there's this person, uh, it's called a homunculus, uh, where all the joints you can hover over um, and you can actually click on them. And you, when you click, you can choose if it's going to stay normal if it's normal, you don't have to click on anything, but then you can choose if it's a swollen joint, a tender joint, or tender and swollen. And you can go about, and we'll just click on a whole bunch, um, but you can go and do this on your yourself, and we'll click some down here on the toes and as well. And let's do a knee. And you can see that as we've done that, the joint scores have uh, gone up over here. So we've uh, in total highlighted seven tender joints, four swollen joints out of a 28 joint count. And you can see that number is higher for a 66 or 68 joint count. Really the difference is, is that a 28 joint, 28 joint count includes hands, wrists, knees, and, um, and elbows, whereas all the joints are included in the 66-68 joint count. There's uh, some reliability in terms of uh, our ability to more accurately detect those 28 joints and it's been validated to show that that's a good overall view of how someone's arthritis is, is going. So that's often why rheumatologists may look at 28 joints for it rather than all of them. But as you can see, it self-calculates. You can actually type it in yourself if you want to rather than uh, to actually uh, click on each one. You have either option. And then there's these other components here as well. Now you could see down here that the S9 CD score have already started to, to be scored. That's because they have all, enough components to, uh, to uh, get a number, whereas the DAS28 and DAS28 CRP do require some blood work. So these wouldn't be things unless you have access to your blood work uh, that you could do at home, but we'll just put in some numbers. We'll put a higher than normal CRP and a higher than normal uh, ESR here. And you can see now we're starting to get some scores. And we'll put a patient global and a physician global health. They're really saying, how do you feel or how does the physician feel that you're feeling, right? Uh, when we do this assessment, zero being perfect, 10 being uh, very poor. So we'll say someone with this sort of uh, joint count, probably be at a five. I would think that's maybe a little bit worse. So I'll say a six. And now you can see we have our final scores here. Um, and they all indicate that disease activity is moderate, so it can be low, moderate, or high, and the system will self-do that. It is based on a complicated scoring system, and if you click at the bottom of the screen, we won't show that here, uh, you can actually see what the calculation is based on. For DAS 28s, it has logarithmic scores and square roots and so forth, whereas SDI and CDI is really kind of straight math. If you want, you can put in your name and current medication so you can track not only how you're doing, but what's making you feel that way in, in terms of trying to get the right medications correctly. And then once you have all that in, uh, you can see there's this export button at the bottom and you can click on that and then it'll allow you to print off your results or you could copy it and paste it into another document so you can track over time or you can even email the results to you as, uh, as well for your records and then you can bring that to an appointment with your rheumatologist based on date and so forth and you can show them how things have been progressing uh, over time to have a conversation. Your rheumatologist will use these scores as well to help them determine how you're doing as well and to see if we need to make any changes with your treatment. Typically, if you have a disease activity score that is moderate or higher, it suggests your disease is more active than it should be, which means we wanna make changes to your treatment so you can do better. 
feel free to check this out. It's at roomdas.com. And of course, lots of other information on our main site, albertarheumatology.com. <music>